sounds like pina colada. So today I'll be talking about two products from The Ordinary that are great for fine lines and wrinkles. So I purchased several skincare items from The Ordinary a few months ago. I'll put the links in the description box for my haul video and my vitamin C review if you'd like to check those out also. If you're enjoying this video while you're watching it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, I upload twice a week, so consider subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. If you want to know my thoughts on The Ordinary Matrixol and Retinoid 2%, don't go anywhere, just keep watching. So the first product I'm going to talk about is The Ordinary Advanced Retinoid 2%. So this product is $9.80 and you get one fluid ounce of product. So this is one of my favorite products from The Ordinary and it's because my skin actually likes the formula. I'm one of those people that I can't use Retin-A on my skin. It just doesn't agree with me. My skin is just way too dry naturally and way too sensitive for that type of formula. So this was a product that I really enjoyed using because there is no skin irritation, there's no skin sensitivity, and there's none of that crazy peeling that comes with Retin-A. This formula contains two form of retinoids. One is the more traditional retinol. So the retinol they use is encapsulated, which prevents skin sensitivity, and it also prevents it from uh, absorbing into the skin too quickly and too deeply, causing skin irritation. So the second form of retinoid is, and I hope I'm saying this right, hydroxypinacolode retinoate. I think I said that right. Sounds like pina colada. This is actually a trans retinal ester, which means it's different than retin-A and retinoic acid. Esters are usually a non-prescription form of retinoid. But what makes this ester stand out is that you get to reap the anti-aging benefits without dealing with the side effects of the skin irritation or the peeling. The other benefit is retinoic acid tends to be highly unstable, so it has to be used up quickly, but this product is far more stable. So I've been using this for about eight weeks and so far I've been really enjoying it. I use it every other day. I alternate it with the days that I use my acids. I would never use this on the same day as an acid treatment. It's just something to keep in mind, especially for people that have sensitive skin. So any form of Retin-A, retinoid take about six months to see real noticeable results on the skin. The most noticeable change for myself has been with dry patches. I'm susceptible to dry patches on my forehead and along my chin area because I have naturally very dry skin. Since I've been using this, I haven't had any issues with patches, weird dry patches showing up in random places on my forehead or chin. So I'm gonna continue using this in my skincare routine and I'll be filming update videos at a later date to let you know if there's been any other significant changes with my skin. So the second product from The Ordinary that I've been using is the Matrixel 10% with Hyaluronic Acid. This product is $11.50 and you get one fluid ounce of product. So Matrixel is a peptide formula and is known as an anti-aging ingredient. It's frequently found in skincare products and it's geared towards anti-wrinkle and anti-aging. There are three types of Matrixel in this product, each having different benefits, and they work together to stimulate the growth of collagen and elastin, which tend to weaken as we age. So Matrixel will basically strengthen and build up the skin, helping the skin look younger. It works by helping to fill wrinkles naturally from within the skin, so the appearance of wrinkles is less defined. This ingredient is great for anti-aging, wrinkles, fine lines, and sagging skin. So I've been using this every night under my eye area. I apply this as an eye serum first underneath a moisturizer or a night cream. So this is another product from The Ordinary that I've really been enjoying. It's not sticky, it absorbs into the skin quickly, it plumps up the skin around my eye area, smoothing out all those annoying little fine lines. So that is part two of my Ordinary Review series. I'll try and have part three completed by the end of next week. And in that video, I'll be discussing the rosehip oil as well as the lactic acid serum. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions about either one of these products, leave them in the comment section below. If you wanna catch more of my reviews or other videos, consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.